What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. This is Virgil. I'm an international photographer based here in Charleston, South Carolina. Today I'm going to talk to you about the best pocket point and shoot 35 millimeter camera that you can buy out there. It's an aftermarket kind of product. It's, they don't make it anymore. You can buy it on Etsy or eBay, but this Olympus Stylus 150 is one of the cameras that, that lives in my backpack. Um, everywhere I go, I bring this thing. It's awesome, it's compact, it's 35 millimeter film camera. You should get it. Um, if you can find one of these for $100, that buy it, buy 10 of them. Uh, it's, that's usually the price. It's gonna range between around $40 to about $150. Um, there's a, several models out there out there that's available. There's Stylus 80, 70. This particular one is 150. I just researched earlier today that um, there's a handful of these on, um, on Etsy. So go grab them. But first, I want to talk to you a little bit about it. It's point and shoot. It's pocket. It's literally, this is my phone. This is the size of the camera. See the size? Really awesome. So when I open this, the lens will come out. It has 37.5 to 150 millimeter zoom, which is pretty cool. It zooms in, in and out, and then it also takes C123 batteries, and you can put it like somewhere around here. This is the battery there. Super cool. There's not much to it. Um, there's no manual, it's, everything's automatic. There's a built-in flash. It's an all-weather sealed camera, super easy. And to load it, you basically have to open this part and it opens up. There's no film in it. And you load the film here. Today I'm gonna load the Fuji Pro 400H. It's a color film, it's a C41 film. So the way you do it, it's really easy. Hold it. And you just kind of feed it a little bit and boom so this camera has several buttons back here it's really simple there's the mode there's the set where you set time um, there's this button where you push that button if you want to advance the film if you don't want to finish the roll you can push that button there's also the option to turn on and off the flash option to have spot metering if you want spot metering or if you're, if you're shooting a landscape photo, you can push that photo and there's that mountain. There's only those two options. Uh, there's a timer option, um, which is really cool. You can set it on a tripod, set it on it, um, if you want to take a family photo and set it on timer. If you want to turn off the flash and want to shoot natural light, you just push this button. And there's gonna be a, like an anti-flash icon right there. If you want to use flash and have that vintage look, just keep pushing that. By default, it'll have it. It'll have the flash go when you take the photo. As far as zooming in and out, this is zooming in. When you hold this down, when you hold this, push this up, it zooms out and gives you a more of a wide shot. T, zoom in. Grab this camera on Etsy, or there's a 70 version, 80 version. Just search Olympus Stylus. All kinds of stylus cameras will come out. It's really cool. It's a vintage camera. Grab one. I think you need one in your book bag. Thanks for watching. See you next time.